Welcome to How to Minecraft 101. So today for our first tutorial, we are going to talk a little bit about redstone. As you can see, it is incredibly dark in here. No, it's not. So this technique of lighting is actually really, really easy to implement. It's dr uh, driven from the switch here, just like a regular light switch. So I can turn it on and off. It's pretty neat. And as I said, it's really easy to create once you've got the hang of it. So let's get started. I was hoping that the light would change outside so you could see what I'm doing here. So over here, I built literally a giant cube. Now I am doing this in creative mode. However, you can do this in any mode. I have done it before in survival and it does work. So we're going to start off, I need a door. <laughs> Would help if we can get in and out, right? So I have redstone lamps and I'm just going to place them where I want the light to be. All right, so, sorry. If you take a look, it is really, really dark in there. Not a place that you would want to go, especially knowing that the mobs and such but you would likely want a light switch to activate that probably somewhere around here. So I generally try to make like a hallway because it's a little bit easier to work with. If you put the switch right on the end here and then you put the door there, the switch will actually use, like it'll activate the door. It won't actually activate the switch for the lights. We don't want the door to open when we activate the switch. We just want the lights to turn on. So you are going to need the redstone lamps, redstone dust, and a lever. And I personally like to do this from this side. I do build around it after the fact. Now, right here on the other side of this block here is our lever. So we're going to want to, that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> so we're going to want to create like a step up thing going on there and you can hide this later so it's not really that big of a deal but you want it to go my bad you want it to go from the lever now in order to go through the wall through here into towards the lever you have to make the redstone go directly into that block you can't have it like that where it's going into that block over there or whatever or it won't work you have to actually put it like this so that makes things a little bit more tricky. A lot of people have trouble with redstone because of that. But you just want to bring it to the top and make sure that the redstone is touching the lamp. You can put it on both. I tend to like to do that, but it doesn't really matter. And when we come in here and flick the switch, we have a fully functional redstone lamp pretty neat we can open it uh, turn on the lights sorry and, and turn off the lights anytime we want now I would be cautious of using this in survival mode simply because if you leave the lights off at nighttime then mobs can spawn inside of here but if you have enough windows that shouldn't really be a problem during the day I tend to make my houses as you can see well this one's actually lacking windows compared to how I usually do it but you get the idea. And for this one here, my redstone is actually in the front here. So I put it up here and it just goes right over there. So it comes straight down into the block where the thing is and it comes straight up and into here. It's quick, easy, painless, convenient, and I was able to very easily hide it with redstone, you always want to hide it. People will wreck your redstone, so it's always good to have a hidden electrical system. It's kind of like real life. You want to hide your electricity. So this whole thing would be hidden after the fact, of course. And you could do that really simply just by adding a cage around it, right? So you want to put, like, say, a block here and then go up. Now, it's important to note as well that you cannot put it... I can't put a block right there. So if I wanted to, I mean, it'll let me put a block, but it'll mess things up. So if I put that there, it'll cut that tie. 
and we don't want it to do that so it's important to always leave a block in between to allow the entire thing to have some room as you can see nothing's cut off here it all works the way it's supposed to and once you set it up properly and you're able to block it off you can't see anything at all from the front and same with the top if you want to go over top of this to hide it you need to go two blocks tall and then you can very easily create a roof like that and connect it and that totally works to hide everything and you don't have to worry about it glitching or cutting off your support so there you go so same thing goes on the other side as long as you have it two blocks around the redstone it won't affect it and from the ground I guess I should fix that one second you can put the door there and we have the lights to work so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to work with redstone in Minecraft hopefully it's helped you out and yeah so stay tuned next time for how to create powered rails that work on their own with redstone thanks guys and have a good one